What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today is a few random packs. We have two packs for 2010-2011 Opeachy. We have two packs for this year's 2020-21 MVP. And we have one of this year's Tim Hortons packs. So that's what we're going to be opening today. Let's start off with Opeachy. And the two OPG packs and the two MVP packs were $1.30 at Shoppers Drug Mart. So I decided just to pick them up because I wanted something to open up. So here we go. Maxim Talbot. Dion Phaneuf, who I do like. So I think I'm going to start a PC with him. We have a season highlights for Saline. I always butcher names, so if I do, disregard. Uh, looks like a uh, retro card. For Todd Berzui, Nicholas Jalmarsen, and Daniel Carcilio. Not even focusing today. Next pack here. Let's see if I can get it open. We have Dan Sexton, Thomas Kopecki. Maxim Lapierre, retro. We have a Mako Frolic, retro. Got to focus a little bit there. Uh, Andrew Colliano, always butcher names. And Tyler Ennis. Now we're going to open up the two MVP packs for 2020-21. So we did get three retro cards there. Um, and a player that I PC, Dion Phaneuf. So... I just kept them all together. I didn't separate them from the inserts, but go to the next packs here. Sam Reinhart. I like these cards. Dylan Stromey. We have a rookie in the blue for Kiefer Bellows. Zach Hyman. And Matthew Kachuk. I like the look of them, but MVP is usually something I ignore. But for two packs for $1.30, I decided to take a look at them for this year's product. But not something I would get often. We have a puzzle piece for Hampsis Lindholm. And if I had to guess, not familiar. I'm going to say Alex Ovechkin, um, just based on the colors of the glove. But that is still pretty cool. Brady Kachuk, I do collect Ottawa Senators, Mitch Marner, Lick Let, Nick Letty, and Matt Duchesne, which I do PC. So a few players that I do PC out of that, but MVP is not something usually for me or that I typically collect. And now for the Tim Hortons pack, we have Jeff Skinner. Oh, I already seen the red there. Alexander Barksov, Barkov. And Patrick Laney in the red, which I don't remember if I have, so I'm going to say I don't and put it right here. Now, you know, for the Tim Hortons cards, I'm not going for a complete set because I don't have enough money. And at the time I'm recording this video, which it's not even um, 2021 yet, there's still five days left of 2020 and Tim Hortons are already starting to sell out. Luckily, two Tim Hortons near me. They started at the time the promotion did start. They were doing the hockey cards, but then they had to close down to do renovations and the renovations are still ongoing. So I'm hoping those Tim Hortons still have hockey cards once they reopen. But I think a lot of people will flood there because they'll have the same thinking. So once they do reopen, I'll try to go back. But a lot of Tim Hortons in my area are starting to sell out. So I know I'm just going to go for a couple more packs, a couple inserts, wherever they're left, but likely not more than that. So for the 2010-2011 Opeachy, I'm just not really familiar with the players other than Dion Phaneuf and a couple of the other ones. The inserts were pretty cool. I might just keep the inserts or put them in eBay mystery packs that I do. Um, the MVP packs, I do like that it's this year's product. I do like it for that reason, but MVP is really not something. It's really low-end stuff. Even the autos or the silver scripts and stuff like that, they're not real autos, so it's not really something that I really care about. But the Tim Hortons, I do love. So comment down below which of these was your favorite. I'm going to say Tim Hortons just because I like their product a little bit more. And you're basically guaranteed one insert per pack. I just wish I was able to find more of the franchise trios than I did. I only found two this year. 
And my plans was if I found more of them, I would sell them on eBay and then be able to take that money and purchase even more packs. But that did not happen. I only found two of them, Winnipeg Jets and Calgary Flames. But regardless, I think this was a lot of fun. A couple of these packs were, I think, everything in this video was under $5 total. So for $5 getting all of these packs, that is a steal in my opinion. So I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.